It's October 28th, and it's the Czech Republic's National Day. The president of Taiwan's legislative Yuan Yoshi Kun recorded a special birthday message for the Central European country that has taken an outsized role in Taiwan politics. The bilateral relationship really blossomed this summer when the Czech Senate speaker decided to visit Taiwan despite China's staunch objections and threats. Since then, Taiwan and the Czech Republic have been exploring new collaborations and planning mutual trade visits for the coming spring. Taiwan's legislative speaker looks at the camera and wishes the Czech Republic a happy National Day. It's a gesture of friendship toward the country, whose Senate President Milos Vistrachil made a high-profile visit earlier this year. Vistrachil had extended his good wishes to Taiwan earlier this month on the occasion of Double Ten National Day. Even with China exercising wolf warrior diplomacy or throwing its weight around, Vistrachil was like, I want to visit, so I will visit. He was not swayed. The Czech Republic is really someplace special. Why was it that the Prague Spring and other reforms and movements took place in the Czech Republic? This time, we're seeing the same thing happen. Vistra Chill's defiance in the face of Chinese aggression had prompted other countries to take notice of Taiwan and its plight. Recently, Speaker Yeo contributed op-eds to select media outlets abroad to further amplify Taiwan's voice. The main purpose of my submissions was to explain that Taiwan had been under the cold pile of China for some 40 years. After the outbreak of the coronavirus, the world gradually came to see China's true face. For us, that's equivalent to seeing a sign that spring is coming. And so we are extending both arms to embrace democratic nations across the globe. This is the first time a legislative Yen speaker has moved to speak for Taiwan through foreign news outlets. Calling for a democratic alliance against Beijing, his pieces were carried in the Washington Times, Japanese outlets, and the UK's The Times. He quoted the leader of the 1968 Prague Spring, Alexander Dubček, who famously said, you can crush the flowers, but you can't stop the spring. Yeo said that Taiwan and the world could be about to see the dawn of another democratic spring. The world is coming to realize the CCP's fundamental nature. It is an authoritarian system that conducts wolf warrior diplomacy. In Xinjiang and Tibet, it has violated human rights and carried out religious persecution. As people gradually come to understand this, they will come to treasure Taiwan. Pushing back at Beijing's wolf warrior diplomacy, Yo penned pieces for overseas media to let the world hear Taiwan's voice.